Well, it's a gorgeous day today. I'm just taking the opportunity to plant out my elephant garlic. And I thought I'd just show you how I'm doing that because I'm growing it for cloves and for the stems, which you're going to use as leeks in spring. And yeah, so I'll show you where I'm doing that. But I thought I'd also just take the opportunity just to show you around uh, all the different alliums that we've got growing on the plot as well. So I'm just planting my elephant garlic and I'm planting it into this bed, which is the perpetual strawberry bed and we're growing elephant garlic for two purposes we're growing it as a leek to eat in spring and sort of early summer time uh, and then if we're doing that then we'll leave the cloves in the ground um, and then next year this bed will just be or the year after next rather this bed will just be a wash of elephant garlic perennial elephant garlic and we'll just leave it as a patch of leeks down the center of this strawberry bed and elephant garlic is in the leek family so uh, yeah the, the stems if you harvest them when they're young enough are very leek like and of course they come just at the time of year when your leeks are finishing so i've just dipped some holes probably about two maybe three inches deep and you want your garlic about two inches, two inches down, so about an inch below the surface. And I'm leaving a reasonable amount of space between mine, about 12 inches, because again, I want these to grow into a big clump of garlics down here. So hopefully you can see the, the garlic cloves in there the tips being about an inch below the surface. And I thought while we're on the subject of alliums, I'll just show you some of my other onions and garlic. So I've got spring onions interplanted into all of my salad beds. I've got quite a few more than this. I've got ordinary garlic planted into my strawberry beds. Not showing yet. I've got overwintering tough ball onions planted into what was the carrot bed and what will be the cabbage bed. More overwintering onions interplanted with these field beans and that's the same all the way down there and some garlic as well interplanted and some more overwintering onions in the polytunnel. A bit floppy at the moment, it's a bit too warm for them but uh, it'll cool down soon enough. And then here's another polytunnel salad and herb bed. And again, it's all interplanted with onions, spring onions. And then over that side, a bed of garlic being grown for green garlic. And only just starting to break through. So I hope you enjoyed that quick video. My name's Steve, this is the Seaside Allotment Channel and I'll see you soon.